Yeah, yeah welcome back to DXB today where we are uh, investigating. Uh, in fact, we are going to take a bit of a deep dive uh, into the world of real estate and all things property. But look, we focused a lot on the market already here in the UAE, the one that exists, the one that's been building over many years. We want to take a bit of an international perspective on things now. You know, what does the Dubai real estate market mean to developers in other parts of the world, especially people have been there and done that in their native countries? Well, one man who knows exactly what it is to build a property empire is the man alongside me, chairman of Wildcrest Parks, Alfie Best. Alfie, bless you. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. That's a hell of an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the short one. You should have you could have had the long one a minute ago. Um, right, I am conscious of our viewers out there going, OK, Wildcrest Parks. So let's set the scene because I'm from the UK. I know about parks, homes, etc. But for those that don't understand uh, park life, to give it a, life, uh, give it a, a phrase, what, what are park living? Is it specifically for retirement? Um, no, it's not, but uh, our model is based 80% towards that. Park home living is uh, affordable housing. Mm. Um, it's just a quirk in the law that they're still built in the reminisce of a mobile home. Mm. But park home living, the reason that it's uh, so forward and actually gathered pace so much, we're the biggest park operator ever to exist in Europe. Ever? Ever. Um, and we're still 100% owned. Um, we have 16,000 residents, 120 parks across the UK. Um, and our goal, without sort of being boastful, is global domination in that industry. And we will be. Mm -hmm. And that was going to lead me on to the next uh, question, which is, OK, nail the UK, nailing Europe as well at the moment. Such Why good. Dubai? Uh, I actually see Dubai as the most forward thinking region. And I think it's going to be the next powerhouse. Mm. I think Europe is chasing wealth out of the front door. I think it's penalising the people that are, uh, to be fair with you, the entrepreneurs that are willing to invest, willing to help people succeed and put their reputations and life and shirt on the back of their businesses. Mm. And for me, you know, we all need a certain amount of support. Yeah. And what I see about the region of the Middle East, it is its time. Mm. Dubai was the vision of a fantastic great man. Yeah. And the reason he's fantastic is because he followed it through. Mm. There's a lot of people that have visions, but they never create the vision. Mm. And this vision has then had a ripple effect across the whole of the Middle East region. And that's why I see it becoming a complete powerhouse. And I. I do see a downturn, but I see a downturn that it will come out of and it will be the seasoned investors with the knowledge of how they invest, where they invest for the long term that will benefit the Middle East, the countries they're in and themselves as investors. Hmm. Alfie, I, I always want to learn a little more about other people's business models. If you're you know, out in Dubai, obviously you're well established in the UK. I think you were talking to me about Florida earlier as well. If you did want to come and, and you know, build that business model here with Park Living, what would that look like? Well, to be fair with you, I think each property development must sit well within the region you're investing in. Yeah. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Now we do affordable housing. The reason affordable housing works in the UK um, and I don't want to go too, too much off concept of different laws in different countries, but it is genuinely affordable. Yeah. I can sell you a park home for 50% less than a like for like bungalow. There's no stamp duty, there's no land registry fee, so it works for the customer. Here, we have to reevaluate this. Now, if we take about Russell Kamer, there is going to be an influx of employment there. Yeah. That is going to need affordable housing yeah. and what I can tell you no matter where you sit in the ladder Dubai is forgive me for saying this a marketer's dream mm -hmm. Instagram does a fantastic job on marketing it and everybody wants that no matter where they sit on the ladder so why is it not possible to provide quality affordable housing which is capable in this region mm -hmm. Incredible. Well, thank you for sharing with us like your insight into Dubai. Now, I want to know a little bit more about your personal story. So you had humble beginnings and now you are a real estate tycoon. Can you just share with us a little bit your personal journey? Look, and this is me being very transparent. I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. But 
with the good grace and the good will of God, I've managed to be guided on a journey which now there are things that have happened to me that I cannot believe. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Yeah. And the one thing that I can say in any business, it's the credibility of the person that will give you the longevity of the business. Mm -hmm. People want to do business with an expert. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to a heart surgeon to fix the head gasket on my card, even though that man's an expert. Mm. I, want to be a, I want to go to the expert who knows the region, as you said earlier, to the square foot, which buildings were built by which contractor. So, but, so for me, I've made myself an expert in affordable housing. You know, has that come through a formal education? No, I left school at 12. But don't allow the confines of the educational box to tell you who you're gonna be. Mm. For me, I've kicked the doors open and I've failed more times than I've succeeded. But there's one good thing about each notch of success, you only have to do it once. Mm. Mm. You can fail as many times as you like, but as long as you succeed once, that's the first run of the ladder. Mm. Success isn't a destination. It is, an, it is a destination with an end point, and that's when you die. Mm. That's when you get to say whether you were successful. Mm. Because along the route, anything can happen. Mm. What I have today can be gone tomorrow. Mm. And I'm conscious of that. Mm. That is great advice, honestly, it sounds so good. I just want to divert uh, the conversation to investing. Do you see yourself investing here in Dubai or maybe do you already have properties? 100%. Yeah. We will, uh, 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 everything that I've just said, I've said with passion and realism. Yeah. But I say it open-minded. Mm -hmm. In other words, do I see the downturn? Downturns are good. They stabilise markets yeah. and they take out the gamblers. Mm. And you are left with seasoned investors that are actually more of a benefit to the country and more of a benefit to the industry they're in because they will guide the ship to calmer waters. Yeah. For me to invest, 100%. Okay, nice. That's great. <laughs> we'll help you out. Come anytime. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Alfie. We've got Amy doing the DXB in 60 right now. Yes, yeah, so here at DXB today, we wanted to get to know you a little bit better. We probably so haven't told I you have... about it. <laughs> probably yeah. haven't told We're you. We're just going to put you on the on, spot yeah. right now. It's just Bring a it surprise, on. something that we do through the episode. <laughs> so we want to get to know you a little bit better. So I have got 60 seconds where I'm going to ask some quick fire questions. Are you ready? By the way, you know that Alfie couldn't make it today, don't you? <laughs> 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 He's away. <laughs> Are you ready? For the in, premiere, isn't it? <laughs> in 60 seconds on the clock. And let's go. If you weren't in the real estate industry, what would you be doing? Uh, I would be a business analyst. Incredible. One thing that you cannot live without business. Your motto in life and work? Never give up. Incredible. Have you got a hidden gem in Dubai? I have, but to share it would give people forward thinking mm. that it's going to be a winner. I don't want to give somebody a winner when I don't see it winning yet. Mm. Okay, good answer. So what's your inspiration in life? Not being poor again. A book that you've read at the moment or that you're reading at the moment? Harry the Wild West Horse. Oh, okay. <laughs> a top series that you've watched this summer? Oh, I tend not to watch a lot of TV. Yeah. Um, but if I had to refer to anything, um, it would be uh, Legacy. Nice. If you could hang with anybody for 24 hours, what would it be? It would be as much time as I could with my son or my mother and father. Oh, that's oh, lovely. That's Last question, I'm, six seconds is finished, but I want to know, why Dubai? For the reasons that I said earlier. Yeah. I see that Europe, is chasing wealth out of the door. Yeah. I see it chasing talent out of the door. And I see Dubai becoming a forward thinking region mm -hmm. um, because I don't just see it as Dubai. If you look at Saudi Arabia, this is not actually, in my opinion, been realized of how great of a turning point this has been for the whole region. Mm. Because Saudi Arabia was seen as just closed, dry, country where you weren't allowed in. 
to, to, so to now be such a forward thinking country and do this whole 360 degree turn marketed is unbelievable. And I think, as I said, I think the next 100 years will be focused on the Middle East and I really see that. Definitely. Gents, it's been an absolute pleasure. Gents, bless you. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Thanks for coming in and giving us all your advice. Uh, Mr B, thank you very much. The best man uh, is mine. here. Alfie, yes. thank you so thank much you. indeed. It's been an absolute pleasure. All the best with the film, all the best with the projects here in, in Dubai. Thank you. Don't go being a stranger. Do come back and see us whenever you're here as well. It'd be great to have you. So big thanks to both of our guests. We ain't done just yet though. And we've still got plenty more to come. In fact, we will be playing out with some world-class music. That's coming your way in a few moments time.